Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele and today is Friday, March 8th, 2024. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the entry rules for a support and resistance trading system. This is the Micro E-Mini S&P 500 Index Futures, the June 2024 contract. And this is the five minute chart. Of course, that's all per our rules for a support and resistance trading system. This is the current market uh, price action right here uh, as of Friday. Let me go ahead and bring up our little support and resistance trading system right here. I'm not going to go back over these, which I've already talked about. What I'm going to do, these rules I should say, but what I'm going to do is scroll down here to the entry rules for our support and resistance trading system 1.0. Keep in mind that these rules are not set in stone and that as we go forward we might decide to adjust a few of them here or there to see if we can make the system better. But as of right now, if we're looking for a lower top or a higher bottom and we find one, these are our entry rules. Once a top or bottom has been made and the market moves away from it, the price needs to return to the support and resistance levels where the first top or bottom was made, but not exceed the first top or bottom. In other words, we need a lower top or a higher bottom. Once price makes the second top or bottom and exceeds the extreme of the move away from the first top or bottom, that's our signal to enter the trade. So we don't really, we're not at support or resistance right here as per the pre-market data, but we're going to go ahead and look at this. Some people might see this as a singular top, and if that's the case, that's fine. Other people might be looking at it really closely and go, well, there's a top right here. The market does move down a little bit and makes a second top, lower top right there. And if that's the case, well, that's also fine. Uh, we want to put a price line right there. We have the first top, the market moves away from it. That's the extreme price that the market moved to away from this first top, at which point it started moving back up and made our second top here. When it does this, makes our second top and then moves and breaks below this level right here, that's our entry signal. And of course our target rules are back up here so we don't need to talk about that at this point in time since this video is really just about the entry of these two things these two uh, setups I should say so that's one possibility let's say you you're looking at that and you go oh that's just a single top that doesn't count so let's go back and find one that's cleaner here's one that looks pretty good market uh, moves up here makes the top moves down away from it but then it breaks higher so that doesn't work moves down, breaks higher, that doesn't work, and then we get a top right here. We move away from it and then make our extreme price right there. So we would put our entry level right there if everything works out. The market then moves up, makes a top, and starts moving away from the second top, and the second top is lower. So then when the market breaks below here, that's our signal to enter the market. This is where we enter the market on the break of this right there. All right, so that's for our double top or double bottom type of setup. Let's look here. Entry rules for support and resistance break and retest. Once price breaks above a resistance level or below a support level, you wait for a pullback to the price of that broken level. The price needs to move back to the breakout point. In other words, if we get... Uh, Let's see if there's an example here. Let's, let's just use this as an example right here. Let's say we have this right here. Price breaks out right there, moves up, consolidates right there, and then continues further. This does not meet our criteria because the price did not move back to this line. Uh, the entry for this type of trade is the close of the candle that moves away from the breakout point in the direction of the original breakout. If the breakout and retest happens to a minor area of support or resistance created by a low between a double top or a double bottom, then you will enter the trade as follows. In other words, this scenario right here has a different type of entry than the normal, in quotes, break of support and resistance. So let's find something right here. This is all pre-market. 
actually here's one right here so let's just use this right here so the market makes a top right there as of this point in time and I realize this is actually pre-market data but this is just for the example purposes the market comes up makes a top this is our major top at this point in time but then the market comes down let me zoom in here breaks above it and then moves back down to this price point right here so this is our breakout point the market breaks above it and then does move back to it moves slightly slower lower I should say not slower than the original breakout but that's fine and then it comes back and closes up here the close of this candle is our entry right there so in other words we have a top in this case the market breaks resistance treats it as support closes right here the close of this candle is our entry our target is would be from this low so i would go from this low to our entry point right there and doubling this right here gives us a target up here and our stop loss would be half of this which is equal to this line right here in this particular instance so that's our in quotes normal setup let's go back over here because this one if the break and retest happens to a minor area of support or resistance created by a low between a double top or a high between a double bottom then you'll enter the trade as follows price breaks past the minor top or bottom price moves back above the minor bottom or below the minor top so here we have our double top that we were looking at in the earlier example so we have this right here we have a breakout of it right here let me zoom in make this a little easier to see so we have our double top we have our bottom right here the price breaks out right there and returns and moves above it right there okay Let's see price then stops and moves back in the direction of the breakout so in other words it breaks out here moves back up above this level right here and then breaks back below this level moving in the direction of the original breakout when price moves past the original breakout point in the direction of the breakout you enter the trade not waiting for the close of the candle in this case the price target is a one two three pattern price extension and the stop is half of that so what is a one two three pattern well we have our breakout right here our return right there so this is one this is two and this is three or really this is zero one two and three so we would measure it like this there's our breakout bottom so when we enter our trade right here our target is all the way down here which the market eventually moved to and then our stop would be whoops there we go our stop would be half of that or our stop would be up here now you'll also notice that this is a double top pattern right and where do we enter a double top pattern we enter it right here in this particular case right here we would have gone short for our double top entry right there but then we come back up and retest it in such a way that we actually have an entry for a support and resistance break of minor support of the double top bottom in this particular case so let me delete these so those are entry rules as of right now that we're going to follow going forward next week i'm going to start looking at the market and we're going to start applying these rules specifically these rules right here to find our trades and enter our trades according to these rules right here and see what the kind of results see what kind of results we get from these rules as we move forward doing that we might find that we have to tweak some things add some rules take out some rules things of that nature so anyway that's going to start next week where we start looking at the market and seeing how well this trading system actually does so until next week this is henry Steele. i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i'll talk to you later